Welcome back to the shop. I'm Model T and today we're taking Rhodey out of the shop and I'm going to do some work to it. It's tedious. You know those things that need to be done to Model A's, but they're just so tedious that you just almost cringe that you got to do it, but it really needs to be done. Like when you need to clean the spokes. Oh my gosh, tedious. Let's get Rhodey out here so we have some good sunlight. As you can see, I've got the window open finally. I needed Paul's help for that. There was no way I could get that open with my little girly muscles because all of this stuff that was used to have seals around the windows, somehow it just got so gross. It's very sticky. And at some point, somebody literally painted over it when they did this paint job. So that kind of sucks too. And literally, the more I inspect this, I don't know, I'll try to get a good picture of this, but it doesn't just look like a seal. It looks at some, looks like at some point, somebody even put some kind of a black rubberized, um, I don't know, I don't know what they would have used, but it's very shiny, it's very hard. Um, looks like it probably came out of a tube. I don't know, but it was very wrong. So my goal today is to get all that hard yet sticky and painted on disgusting seal off of there because we've got a brand new one that's ready to go on. It's just getting that done so I can have a clean surface to go off of and hopefully not lose paint. I'm gonna start by taking the little windshield sides off because otherwise they're just gonna be in the way. It's gonna give me a lot more room, a little bit more pain in the butt, a little bit more job to do but it'll be worth it in the long run. So just undo these. Let's see, am I tidying or well, there we go. It's really simple. You just undo these outer nuts and they slide right out of the metal frame there. There we go. They're actually not, whoop, whoa, come back here. Hey, when that happens, I hang on to that window there so it doesn't fall just in case. All right, and then it should at least fairly easily slide out. Just do it evenly, not too shabby. And this is gonna be a real help because these areas are a little hard to get into around this frame. That's gonna free up a lot of space. should be loosened enough. There we go. Come on, baby. I remember this side was a little harder to get in and out when I did my wing video. Um, <laughs> yeah, that one is a little tough. I need, I might need to get the hammer so I can tap it a little bit. Sometimes you got to bring out other tools. <laughs> I don't know if this frame is bent a little bit or what it is, but I remember when I redid the, the wings here, I had to work really hard on getting this out. It's not exactly completely even. So I'll make it a little easier on myself so I'm not having to pull and pull and pull. At least hopefully I don't have to. Being careful is not to get the paint. I'm still having troubles. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> All right, let's try one more way without hitting the window. There we go, we're getting there. Almost there. This bottom seems more willing. It's the top that's the stinker. There we go, okay. Come on, baby. Set that down and use my two hands. Come on, baby. Come on. Sometimes you just gotta like play with it a little, wiggle it around. Whew. Okay, the two tools I think will be making the most impact to getting this thicker stuff off is gonna be a metal scraper and my hammer. I think I'm gonna 
try to go outwards with this so it's not going on the inside so much. Okay, not too bad. Just be gentle. I don't want to take a bunch of paint with me. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's not as bad. And guess what color this used to be? It was green. Let's get back to work. I cannot believe that at all. It's just totally amazing. In fact, me and Paul talked about in time, as time goes by, I was kind of thinking about, you know, repainting Rody and what color would I want to make Rody once I did paint it. And uh, my gosh, in this case, I may not mind going back to its natural original color as I love that green. Green is like one of my favorite colors, especially to me that reminds me of kind of like a little farmy type green. Okay, we're almost there. This is actually coming off way easier than I thought it would be. Don't know if it has anything to be with sitting in the sun. I don't really think so. But, wow, it is coming off pretty dang good. I have no idea how it's gonna come out this outer rim here, but if it comes off anything like this is coming off, I am in business and this is not gonna be an all day job like I feared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not too shabby. So far, so good. Oh my gosh, there we go. Ugh. Look at that. That's so gross. I honestly did not think this was going to come off as easy as it is, is there because it was just so gross and thick and crumbly. I just thought I was going to be chipping for days. So I am a happy camper right now. Now it looks like some of the old stuff is inserted into this crack right here. I'm going to be a little careful because it does have paint on the edges and I do not want to take the paint off if I can help it. This stuff, let's see how easy does that come off or not. Yeah, this is definitely not part of the original. Uh, I think it's just going to take a little bit more time, a little more patience, but it is coming off. Once I get the thicker stuff off, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. It's all about not scraping the paint. I do not want to go down to the bare metal and have just another thing that I have to fix if I can help it. Yeah, that's so nasty. Nasty, nasty. Well, some of it actually is paint coming off because the stuff is just literally sticking to it and taking it as it leaves. Even in spots that I didn't actually chisel. And just keep on being careful. So it's time to get out the next tool. Just got a little flathead screwdriver, just enough to fit into this little wedge to work on getting the piece of uh, seal that was inside of this area ever so carefully just pick at it pick at it until it comes out just kind of get under that edge between the metal and it just try to loosen it from there and then just kind of try to get under it. I would like it to come out like a strip, but I don't think it's gonna do that. Oh wait, it's moving inside the track now. Okay, maybe that just made it a little easier. I think there's a little bit of some rust in there too. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I think when I'm almost 100, I'll be pretty rusty too. Oh, that keeps sliding. Maybe I could just slide it out to the end. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Come on, go baby, go. Come on, you could do it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, it's all right. I was hoping that it would just keep on going. That would have been awesome. Let's see, let me get some leverage here. Wah! Without those things poking my feet that are in the side here. I feel like maybe I'll slide this way, maybe. 
Is anything stopping it? And if I could just get that big long piece to come off all at once, shoot, that would be amazing. But I don't know if I can make that happen. For some reason, it doesn't want to go out either end. That's kind of weird, but that's okay. It's got to be patient. That leverage doesn't help as much as I thought it would. <laughs> I'm just gonna get any last little residuals of the stuff that didn't come off with the big pieces. And then we're gonna go grab Paul, my hubby, Model A guy. And I want his opinion on what I should use to get the last little bits of residuals off of here. I don't know if he'll say, you know, alcohol, um, I was thinking about putting grapeseed oil on to kind of loosen the last little tiny pieces of things off and get it off for easier. We'll see what he thinks about my ideas. So, what do you think? Um, I think Earl Scheid painted this car because they didn't even bother to mask this goop off. Or I don't know, maybe they were in a hurry. I think it was a personal job, dude. And why they wanted to do it fast and cut corners and stuff like that instead of just doing things right. It's so weird because it's laid down so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not too shabby for no. when it was done. They just kind of cut some corners and made it kind of hard, harder for the person who would own it maybe later in life, right? Yeah. Now I've got it down to this point. I'm thinking you might tell me alcohol to get the rest off, but I was kind of thinking grapeseed oil to kind of loosen more up, but what do you think? I'm thinking alcohol, but the problem is you don't want to get any on this paint because we don't have this paint to be able to reshoot it. Otherwise, it'd be a no-brainer, but a um, hmm. couple True. options. One is get this stuff off. Mm -hmm. You also have the option of putting the new stuff over the top of this. I wouldn't recommend that. I'm kind of thinking like if it were my car, I would just take the dash rail off. It's like six screws. Just take the whole thing off. I would just sand it all down and just paint the whole dash rail black. I mean, I know there's no black on the car, but maybe someday if you ever paint the fenders black, it would kind of make sense to have a black dash rail in there. I don't know. Hmm. But that'd be the easiest. Well, we got some things to think about. So I'm thinking I don't have a whole lot of time. I mean, September 19th, is it? I, I believe. No, it that's we'll be in... Um, Hickory Corners. Then, oh, so. September 28th? There we go. I think oh, yeah, that, yeah. I think that's it. So September 28th is when the Ironstone Concourse is. So we really don't have a lot of time because the week before that will be in... At uh, the Mayfield Museum. Yeah, yeah. In Michigan? That's, that's the week we're going to be in Michigan and they're going to be here doing the roof on the house while we're gone. So yeah. So there's going to be a whole bunch of people living in our house, so we have to go to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you imagine all the guys sleeping in our house while we're gone? I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I think for the saving of time, I like Paul's idea about taking the whole thing off, doing it maybe in black. I don't know whether it would look right or wrong or whatever. It would be kind of neat if I had some of this little brown accent paint to do it in. That that's might that be kind of cute. I thought that was monkey poop. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but I think what I will do is our second thing was, that sounds good, is I'm going to mask off on each side and just paint that strip on the top black. And then that way it has a good surface to stick to yeah. and everything. So I guess now it's time to eat something, but I'm going to go dig out the stuff that's supposed to go in here. I'll do help you try to find it. Yeah, it's in a bunch of boxes. So after digging and digging and digging through things, <laughs> we just went on a very big scavenger hunt, looking for boxes filled with my stuff that we had for Rody, and it didn't end up being in a box. <laughs> it was just sitting on top of something. So of I believe this is exactly what I'm looking for. Part it is. 3719998.
It is. That's it. And it's from Snyder's. Yeah. Right on. Shout out to Don Snyder. Yes, we love you guys. So allegedly, <laughs> this says that it has both pieces that I need. It says here the 2829 kit includes the strip of rubber that gets installed in the windshield stanchion. Okay. Okay, so I see two pieces. I do see that it appears to be two pieces. Oh yeah, that looks right. It does. I mean, this you can tell. I mean, it's wider. Pretty obvious. So it goes on that flat piece. Yeah, the windshield goes up against it. And then, and then what? This just slides? It goes in the stanchion, yeah. Oh, I see. So it is a little wider yeah. through this upper part, and then it goes thinner. Boy, that's a lot wider. Whether or not it's going to stay up in there, I don't know. We we'll have find room. out. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't use any of that black weird stuff they used. Oh, yeah. Jeez, I don't know what they used. I don't know. I think it was Satan snot or something. I don't know. <laughs> From the bowels of hell. It's hor horrible. <laughs> right along the frame right here on both sides there is another rubber piece that goes through which I do need to clean out that little tract because the other rubber piece goes and slides on the side. And voila, clear tracks. Finally, right now, after I get done taking a little tasty sip of this, I'm gonna start cleaning off the stuff, wiping down things, get out the air compressor, you know, all the stuff to get things ready to stick on the real things. As first time Roadster owners, this is the first time we're dealing with this type of windshield. So something we're finding out is the person who put the seal along this thing that I had to peel off, it did not belong like that whatsoever. What's correct is this. It slides into the channel tract right there and you just gotta cut off the length that you need. It seems, there. I know there must be a reason. I know part of it's to slide in so it's gonna be wider through here and then it narrows and tapers and then eventually it gets wide towards the end again. So not sure how to fix that part on the ends, but what we're gonna do is just buy some good tacky stuff that belongs to this kind of thing. So we can glue in these ends so they don't just fall out and wiggle around. And that way it'll stay nice. But this is the proper piece to put in the bottom of your window when you have a roadster. Then there's another piece that we have to cut to shape that goes in the side tracks through here. So is it supposed to be glued in on the edges? Who knows? Well, we don't know anyways, but let's, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to try it out and I think it's going to work just fine. And it's going to look really nice when we're done. It's not that I don't believe in using black goopy stuff, but use the correct black goopy stuff. So I'm going to pick some more of this up so we can get those seals to stay in. Well, I finally found what I needed. It's in blue, but since it'll be hidden, it shouldn't matter. Okay, not only did they have it in black, but it's five dollars cheaper at ace and i think i may even have a five dollar ace reward card thing so five dollars off of that it's a lot of savings and i'm back in the shop we got the good stuff paul's gonna help me insert the thing in there the little strip and then we're gonna put some of this on each end because for some reason these are tapered wider i can understand on one end if it's to you know slide in stay snug but then how do you get the end to stay in we're new to roadsters so we're not quite sure what it's supposed to be like exactly but this is going to cure it you know what was here hey paul will you give me that little funky piece of strip oh, that's just... <laughs> thank you that was windows this <laughs> yes paul figured it out i knew it seemed familiar and i thought i'm going to just have to chunk this off and i'm like wait a minute and then when you watched earlier it kind of was like peeling off in reality i'm like wait a minute that's way easier than i thought it's because it's like that what window stripping for yeah for like sealing doors and whatever <laughs> for a house and whatnot yeah and just kind of used peeled off the back and stuck it to the metal yeah and then painted over the whole thing um yeah it's yeah it's just not right remember i told you there's these little side 
channels here in the side of this window on the inside that these are supposed to slide into. Now the way they would do that, the way they're supposed to do it, is by taking off the windshield and then sliding down from the top of this shaft and down to the bottom. Then you cut off the excess from the top. When you're done, replace the window, blah, 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 right? Seems like it should be simple. The only problem is, is the bolts come from the window itself, the frame, goes through this hole and these screw onto it, right? Keeps everything where it's supposed to, keeps us open when we want to. One huge problem that I don't want to deal with right now. To do that, you have to loosen one of these or both of these, but I think one would work is to take this post, unscrew it from where it's mounted so that you can move them to the side to undo it. Problem is, when this car was repainted to this Carmel Macchiato or monkey poop and whoa, baby poop, is that what you call it, Paul? These colors, they painted over everything. And so they just did a fast, I'm gonna change the color of this car and didn't take any time to do anything about taking parts apart and then re-putting them back, blah, blah, blah. So if now we unscrew all this stuff, it's gonna to totally mess up the paint so bad. And since I want it to look nice for iron stone, well, we're gonna do it different. Paul's gonna use his mm, man hands. So first he's measuring to see how long it is. Now he's gonna cut it to the length we need. Oh no, you cut it wrong. No. <laughs> You're obviously measuring again by hand. What if the other post is longer? <laughs> we're going to be off by this much. <laughs> okay, since normally you would slide this in like Tina was talking about, and I'm going to try and press this in using brute force. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some of this goop directly to the rubber, which will hopefully kind of make it slide in easier. I don't know. Th this is not the, like, judging standards approved way to install this. Absolutely not. We're, <laughs> we're kind of beyond that at this point because we're trying not to destroy the paint because as soon as you loosen these screws to loosen the stanchions to do this right, that paint would be gone and we don't want to do that. Not yet. I think Tina has a surprise in store for you guys, but we're not ready to release that just yet. So I'm just going to add some goop to this and do it. You know, back in the old days when Legos were really popular and you would make something out of Legos, but it was something you really wanted to keep around. You didn't want it to have to be taken apart and, you know, the Legos recycled later. You wanted to keep whatever it was together. Remember you used to glue whatever it was together <laughs> so that that Lego thing would just be there all the time? That's kind of what I'm doing right now. This reminds me exactly of that. I used to glue my Legos together for the things I wanted to keep. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> it was the very thing that got my Legos taken away. <laughs> Aww, how rude. Apparently, I didn't understand the spirit of Legos. <laughs> the idea was you could use the same Lego bricks to build multiple things. And I was like, no, I want one thing. <laughs> so <laughs> this is probably never going to come out. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Just so you know, that's where I was going with this. Uh, gotcha. This is going to be here for life. Whoever, it's probably going to be you still because you're, you know, 12 at heart. But, um, you know, 50 years from now, whoever restores this car is going to be cussing. Who glued these stupid rubber strips into these stanchions? <laughs> that would be me. So me. Okay. Who put this tacky blue, <laughs> blue crap all over this thing to where right? I can't get this stuff off? Right. Yeah. So, okay, here we go. Oh. Generations of fun. I hope this works the way we think it will, because we're kind of committed now. I hope now. so, too, especially since you told me it, like, dries <laughs> quickly. It does, which is why we're in the shop. Oh, that slid right in. Oh, nice. Oh, this is going to work exactly the way I think. So you don't even have to use that much force? No! Nice. Oh, this is like butter. Now, yeah. the difference between us and the person who last redid the edges <laughs> is whatever goop is sticking out or on, on stuff, we will be wiping it up and making yeah, it look right. nice and not having yeah. it all goopy and dry right, and hard right. weirdness and, yeah. Well, I think I, um, 
could do this a little better, but honestly, this is going way better than I thought it would. That's so awesome. Yeah, it actually, you can even slide it a little bit to position wow. it. Oh my gosh, this is going great. <laughs> Look at that, it's totally in. Nice. As if I'd slid it in. Wow. Yeah, it's like, <sighs> this worked out way better than I thought it would. Okay, that was easy. Next side. Oh, well, I think you want to like wipe things up first. What? What? It's ah. your car. You wipe. Ah. <laughs> just goop this one up now and get ready to put this one in. I cleaned out the channel real good with the screwdriver and made sure there was no little pieces of rusted goop in there. Yeah, just when I thought I got it all. Nope, he got more out. I got more out, yeah. And then I reinstalled it and then it was perfect, so... That's okay. I gotta say though, it came out beautiful. I can't wait to show a close up. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, wow, that's impressive looking when it looks the way it's supposed to. I know, to. it does. It does. It's all <laughs> rotted and painted over. I know. Man. Yeah. We've seen it for so long though, that's just what normal looks like now. <laughs> Makes me wonder, like, did they have it in some super, super hot shot shop in the summer? I don't know. And then a super cold and icy winters, <laughs> and so the stuff just got all brittle and old and know. hard and that's broke a, off? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know what makes it go that direction. That was bad. It was, yeah. Okay, we're in. I can see through the hole that the... Uh, wind wing mounts to oh, good. that it's in. So I it's figured it couldn't possibly go beyond out. that. Nope, <laughs> that one went in perfect. Awesome. There we go. Now let that dry. Done. Well, yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit here. All right. Get started. <laughs> this feels wrong, but <laughs> in this case, it's right. Yeah, maybe it'll fill in some of those holes. <laughs> Yeah. Hold the rust together. You know what? I'm going to open this a little more because we need to put more material on. Yeah, it seems like it's just a little mm -hmm. bead, which worked great for the other part you were it doing. It did. This it... definitely needs some more filling. More. That's for sure. It's a much more. bigger, wide gap. For those who remember Oliver Twist, more. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. May I have some more? <laughs> more. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm just going to put a little bead in here and I'm not putting a lot. It's it's just a, a sneeze of sealant and glue, if you will. Although I am going to fill that hole right there. Just <laughs> yeah. It just feels like the right thing to do. I don't know. Yeah, there's kind of a bigger yeah. hole over here that I need yeah, to put a little extra in also. There's reasons to do that. Yeah. And so. any excess, of course, we're going to rub it off just like we did with these. It's all nice and clean. Are we? Of course. Okay. You leave something gunky, you're <laughs> right. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, you're right. Ain't happening. In. I wouldn't believe it. No. Oh, yeah. What alien stole my husband? Yeah. The body double's not fooling anyone. <laughs> go so you can't go no more and then I'll grab it well I'm just about there so yeah you ready for me to take over yep here it's all yours it's a hostile takeover let's see if I can do as nice as you though just squeeze I was squeezing I don't have the man hands you do hopefully it's something's going in there I hope <laughs> uh, is it going no, not ah, really fudge, I'm not squeezing <laughs> hard enough you're getting some but <laughs> my little wussy hands yeah, just <laughs> Okay, let me try going this way and that way. To that way, I should say. That's a little bit better. Squeeze it like it's my hand when you're having your root canal done. Oh my gosh. Uh, now you're making a bigger mess than I'm me. I'm making a big mess. You're making what a big old mess. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm making a big mess though. I know that yeah, much. You just stop making a mess. And just... Well... Good thing we're in here instead of out in the sun, so this isn't oh going to set up. Oh my gosh. Because otherwise you'd be like, hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, ah! <laughs> we got time now. <laughs> Not tons, but we, we this got stuff a lot of time. This supposedly dries in about two hours. Well, yeah, but it's not really dry in two hours. We're going to have to leave this overnight. Yeah. You know, I hate to say it. What? I need your man hands. Oh. My hands are too limpy. What happened to women can do anything men can? Ha ha ha. 
Really? Well, if I... Step aside, woman. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> Allow the strong man to come save you. I need a manly man. <laughs> Here I am. Oh. <laughs> There's about 15 people that are going to unsubscribe now because oh of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Don't go away. All It'll right. get better. Yeah. <laughs> Paul will behave himself, I promise. Okay. If you do, I'm going to be yeah, upset. I think, <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're ready. Okay, You're going to slide or catch? I'll catch. You're going to catch? Yeah. I think you'll do a better job at sliding. Really? I do. Uh, I hope so. Okay. I'm going to set this here. All right. So we have this laid out in the direction it goes. Now, remember, when it gets to that end, it's got this angle on it. Yeah, we're going to have to trim it. We're going to... No, this end is already trimmed for oh, that side. Trimmed. We okay. trimmed this side, but it's got that angle on purpose. Okay. I just want people to see the angle on purpose. So that's how it fits. All right, here we go. Actually, we should put some on here, but nah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just do it. Let's live dangerous. I'll get it a little well, bit wet. Well, it does and then... fit more perfect towards the whole middle-ish part. Yes. It's just those ends from about here yeah. over where, where the rest wide. is. Right, I understand. Yeah, where yeah. the rest is and not much is going to hold All it. Right. What I think I'm going to do, no, 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 don't pull yet. Don't pull yet? Okay. No, not yet. I'm, I'm not there yet. Not there yet. No, I don't want it to go in at a wonky angle. I just, I'm barely like, okay, barely. I'm just kind of going with you, Good. just so it doesn't get wrinkled up. Well, it, it'll be fine because we're going to pull it tight in a minute anyway. Yeah, I'm just like, just. I just don't want to pull it out of the slot. Yeah, I'm just barely. Okay, now you're going to have to go kind of towards the front of the car as you pull towards you. I'm just going ever slightly you're... don't pull it out of the channel but just you know i'm just moving along with you okay now before we get too far i'm going to add some more to this because we've removed a lot of the material that's right here <laughs> okay sounds good i just want to I mean, make it seems sure like so far so good it's going along so far so good yeah let's just keep it you know yeah. in our favor here yeah if you're not cheating you're not trying okay so here we go okay in we go and you are oops go cool. You got a little bump there. Yeah, I got a little bump. All right, don't well, pull too tight because we don't want to pull it out. I don't, I'm just trying to get past. Hold on, I got something that's giving me resistance. We might have gone into one yeah, of the Yeah, you, you found a hold. That's why you need to pull towards the front of the car slightly as you pull towards you. There you go. There you I go. got it. Okay. Out of the hole. I keep going into little okay, holes. Good. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Okay, hold it. Okay. Are we How far are you from the end? Um, I would say about a half inch. Oh, is that all? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I won't put too much goop on this. Just want a little goop right here then. Okay, let's go. Okay. And we're there. Okay, you're there. Good. We now, good. hold it. Okay. Uh, pull your way just pull slightly because I'm going to pull against you. Okay. Just to tighten this up a little bit. I'll just hold it snugly. Hold it right there. Don't move. Okay, now. Don't move. You get the scissors. All right, so mental note that is about where the edge is. So I'm going to cut right here. Oh boy, I hope I got it right because no turning back now. <laughs> okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little extra goop right here on this end because I didn't put any on the very end. Very nice. And then I'm going to tuck this in. Okay. It should go mm -hmm. in about like the sides did. Should. Oh, look at that. Butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's amazing. Okay, hold it. Beautiful. Don't move. Don't buddy, move. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Well, I'm surprised we didn't get it all over. I thought it would be this big, black, no. messy goopiness we had to wipe off. Nah. But wow, that came there. Went far How's that? easier than I thought it would. Wow. I don't wipe off any little, any, really, there's nothing there that I can see, but I'm going to do it since I don't have my glasses on, just in case. And just like that, it's beautiful. So we're not going to move the window or anything. We're going to let it really just fully like set. <laughs> the stuff allegedly dries in two to three hours. How about overnight? <laughs> I want to just be super duper sure, especially since it's got all the little issues that it has. I want to make sure it's got a good super set. But that is what you do. This is what it, well, as close as possible to being <laughs> proper that it should be. Okay, this came out far better than I thought it would. Now we're going to let it sit overnight and cure and we will see you in the morning. 
Good morning. Brody's had a chance to sit all night. This should be set in really well. So we're just gonna check it. We're gonna kind of pull on a little bit. I mean, I can't imagine it not being set up. It's had, uh, what, more than 12 hours now to sit. And it feels really good. It's sealed really nicely and here was all the little holes. It just looks so good. I'm so happy we did this. So we're gonna give it the closing test now. These right here were not here before. It looked like somebody had put chewed up bubble gum and shoved it in the crams and, and uh, let it dry. So, I mean, it just ugh, it was so gross. So I'm gonna undo this side. I'm gonna go to the other side, undo that one. We'll give it a little test and see how it closes. Now that it actually has some kind of resistance of something to go on. And look at that. Oh my God, it lays so pretty. Look at that. That is the way it's supposed to look. We'll tighten that side. And we're gonna tighten the other side. Man, look at that. That looks beautiful. I'm really pleased. Now that I've got Grody looking gorgeous, it's time to put the wind wings back on. I cannot believe that I lived with this grodiness for such a long time. Ugh, that just looks disgusting. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna take the wind wing, gonna grab my two nuts, a little tool to put them on, and then we're gonna put them through those holes. This is the passenger side. So we're gonna get that one first. If you remember right, that was the hardest one. So I'm gonna start with that. Everything's set. We've got the wind wings on, been polishing and dusting and <laughs> getting all these handprints off the vehicle from us working on it. We checked the uh, fluids, lubed a distributor. Oh my gosh, what else can we do? We're going to check the tire pressure also on all the tires, make sure we're good there. And then we're going to go for a nice drive to the lake, have a picnic, and we'll show you where we're going. Just take you on a nice drive. Back, back, straight. <laughs> You definitely cannot have a roaster if you're a little on the bigger side. <laughs> it's always a little stiff. I wonder if I can uh, put some oil in there and make it a little better. Oops, on the other side. El Luncho. Get the blanket. Yes, we definitely need the blanket on the seat. Holy mackerels. It's going to be scolding hot by the time we go to leave. It's the only bad thing about non cloth seats. <laughs> this uh, pleather really absorbs the heat. <sighs> so happy we're here. It's beautiful. Ah, there we go. Hair down. Have my hair enough up enough at work. All right, picnic. Yeah, way better than Taco Bell. Oh. 
<laughs> right. Oh, we got to say grace first. Okay. Father in heaven, thank you for this food, for the opportunity to enjoy it together, Father, in this beautiful place. Please bless and cleanse it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, picnic. Mm -hmm. Thanks for making sandwiches. Oh, you're welcome. So, um, I got a question for the guys, mostly. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, is it just me, or, like, after your wife and you have been working on an old car together, and then... Later on that evening, you're holding hands and you pull your wife's hand up to kiss it and you realize that her fingernails look like yours. Is that smoking hot or is it just me? <laughs> Put it in the comments below. I give just it a thumbs up. Tippity tappity in the comments. What do you think of that? Are you with me? Is that smoking hot or not? So is that big know. rubbery grease mark across my forehead when I was done sexy? Smoking hot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of got a chuckle out of it myself. <laughs> Didn't even realize it was there. I can't wait to read the comments on this one. <laughs> Here's to you, YouTube commenters. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's so nice out there. There was a guy floating around out there for a little bit. I might go out there. That's good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, even if we got wet, roadie seats or pleather or whatever they're made out of. Mm -hmm. Who cares? I think that going on a picnic in a Model A is far more fun. Oh, yeah, by far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's because you're thankful you got there. Or maybe <laughs> maybe it's because nobody ran you over on the way. Or I don't know what it is. <laughs> but something about the convertible, driving around in areas like this, it's just oh. magic. Just Amazing. like you're out in the open with nature. Yep. Awesome. I love that so much. Well, you know I've always wanted a motorcycle. Yeah. And you're like, no, motorcycle, nope. somebody will run you over and kill you. Oh, yeah. Which I'm sure you're right because I've been in two huge wrecks now where I would have totally died if I was in a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this gives me the experience of being like I'm on a motorcycle, but safer. Well, I'd rather have roadie than any motorcycle. Mm hmm Yep. And I like just, you know, around here in the country, we can drive a little slower. It's just more relaxing. After tough days at work, you need relaxing days. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to zoom all over the place. Nah. Well, maybe for a little bit. If I had some <laughs> smoking, hot-rotted car out that I go, ah! Yeah, but that gets old. It does. After a while, you just want to kind of just chill out. Well, I remember when um, my friend Lewis, he has that um, red convertible big block Corvette. You know, I remember when uh, for my birthday, he came by and he mm -hmm. said, you get to drive my car anywhere you want to. I never did get to see it, but I remember. Well, yeah. and people would think, so I'm in this convertible red Big block, mm -hmm. six-speed manual Corvette. A million miles an hour. You would, th oh, that thing is so fast. So you would mm -hmm. think that, like, I'd be wanting to rip up or whatever. No. You know what we did? Huh. We cruised around here. We cruised to, mm -hmm. like, uh, we went to Don Pedro and, like, but I don't think we ever got over 55. Not once. I didn't want, that's, to me, isn't fun. I mean, just cruising that amazing car, top down, like around the lake and then mm. Don Pay. Oh, it, that was one of the best birthdays ever. Mm. And, you know, it, it cost, you know, five bucks worth of gas or whatever. It was, it was and, better than uh, Chuck E. Cheese. It, oh, yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> it was but just to feel the car, I don't need to be pushing a car to its physical limits to feel the car. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like with Rudy. Like when you're driving around doing 25, 35 miles an hour in these little roads, it's amazing. You don't have to be on it on the floor to feel the car. Mm -hmm. So running the car through paces, especially in a really beautiful area, that was just magic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I know I, I'm, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm sure that there's guys that just think you have to be pushing it to its limit, otherwise you're not enjoying the car. Mm -hmm. There are people like that. But I'm sure that we're probably in a majority that just want to enjoy a car and not just beat on it. And tired of the rat race. Yeah, you know, it's you like... just chill and enjoy I want to do the opposite of the rat race. Mm -hmm. But I want to feel the car and experience it someplace nice. That's, that's what I like.
Try and make it so I can see again. <laughs> Turn it on. Start it. Hey, very nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't think the brake's on, but I'll make sure. Okay, good. I know how you're going to keep the brake quiet for me. I'm holding it with my foot. Thank you. Just to make sure I don't step on your foot. Okay. You got those big Flintstone feet. <laughs> It's hot today, but it sure is nice when you got the top down. Oh, I forgot there is more over there to go parking. We'll try out that area maybe next time. That was a pretty spot we had, though. making that funny little noise that I'm hearing. That's the speedometer. Somebody lost a dog. Get out of the road, puppy dog. Uh, lost puppy dog. Poor baby. She's like, where's my humans? I know, I hear so many noises without the rattling of that front window. Holy mackerels. So quiet. I feel like I'm uh, driving an old sewing machine now <laughs> with the sound. <laughs> things I definitely need to do is put those door straps in so I don't have to worry about it carrying in the front of the car still. It's nice having a trunk. I like it. All right. No. Want to know if we want a car wash. <laughs> I'm so used to going to the back of the car and was going to go back there for a second. <sighs> Keep going. There we go. There we go. Hopefully I aim right. Whee. Like that. First I got to adjust my fingers right. Dude, I don't know if I can do. Maybe I gotta stand up on the rail. 
Hevo, just not tall enough. Can't get leverage. Is it going? Oh yeah, it's going. Can you see what the gas gauge is doing? How will I know when it's full? You sure? Okay. It's stopping on its own. Nope, it's turning off again. Thank you. 29. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> so now we know we need to fix the brake. What you call it? Brake. Yeah, the parky brake. We've got to fix that. Got to adjust it. We have to now adjust the float gauge for the gas because we're finding out that it is off. It's actually full when it says it's three quarters full. What else was, what was the other thing we, we realized? Uh, steering. Well, the steering, definitely, that has to be done. But I thought there was some other gauge that we were going to check or make right or whatever we were going to do. I can't remember. I mean, it's, you know, almost sorted. <laughs> we're working on it. So, Tina, what does sorted mean? <laughs> I suppose if I put it in my own words, everything's done and made so that you could drive it daily and not have it break down on you. I don't know. Am I anywhere close? Is Rody sorted? No. <laughs> so not. Oh, the, the speedometer keeps going g -g 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 constantly and making this ticking noise. Yep. Sounds like a sewing machine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Time to drive again. All right, let's see if we can get an opening here on the highway. This is Highway 12. Um, oh, you turd. <laughs> get the starter. Get the starter. I got the frame. You're good. Nobody's coming. Hit it. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, Nails, not the time. on the gas. Dang, I'm it's trying barely. so hard. There we there go. You go. It's like, see, every time I get, like, nervous, it's when I get nervous is when I end up pushing it because I just want to go, I guess, want to get out of the way or whatever, and I panic and I push the, the pedal too hard. And then we start jerking, and I'm a jerk, you're a jerk. <laughs> All right. I'm not in a panic, I can do it. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, car. Stop here. Take care of some business while I'm stopped here real quick. Whew, that was nice. Definitely gotta keep up your upper body strength for these cars. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make a list of what needs to be done. Driving it more and more is definitely telling me there's things that need to be done to get it to a sorted point. Oh, it's good to be back. We had so much fun. Remember, your car does not have to be perfect with these Model A's. You just got to get them so they're running and you're having fun. And then you can start doing all the sorting and all the stuff that gets it even better. Like the windshield, for instance. It's so much better than it's ever been probably in 
I don't know, 90 something years, 80 something years, I don't know. I don't know when that crud was ever put on there to get all disgusting like it was. Maybe it was in the 70s, I don't know. Whenever the car got painted is when it happened and began and then it just went to heck from there with that stuff. So anyways, I've got a list to start making. I named some of them earlier, but yeah, there's a lot of things to do still before this can be sorted along with the bigger things we've got to do. So for now, you guys take care, keep those Model A's running for generations to come, and I will see you soon. I love you guys. Subscribe if you haven't yet, please. Woo!